Welcome to this interview with Asa Bloys CEO, Nico Delvaux. Nico, can you please summarize the Q3 report that we announced today? I can do that, uh, Bjorn. I think we had a good uh, Q3. A Q3 where we went uh, back to positive organic growth, slight positive organic growth of only 0.3%, but then complemented in a good way to growth of acquisitions, uh, plus uh, 4%. So top line currency adjusted, uh, plus uh, 5%. Uh, and then I think very strong execution with a record EBITDA margin of 17.7%. Uh, the best EBIT margin, 16.7% uh, for the last uh, seven years in uh, Q3. And then also a record EBIT of uh, 6.3 uh, billion uh, SEC. Also very good cash uh, conversion, 118% uh, and our EPS up uh, 10%. So I think very good financial result in Q3. During the quarter, you announced the acquisition of uh, Skidada. It's a company with 3.5 billion kroner in sales. What are your plans with uh, Skidada? I'm yeah, very excited about uh, that uh, acquisition. They are a market leader in uh, access solutions in three main segments, in um, garage uh, parking uh, solutions, uh, in uh, ski resorts, and then also in concert halls, uh, stadiums. Uh. Um, obviously, when we buy companies, uh, we, we buy quality companies. I think Skidat is a quality company with very good people, a very strong uh, brand, and we have the ambition to invest in Skidat to, to accelerate growth and definitely also uh, improve uh, profitability in a significant way. And there we see big uh, uh, synergies with HID and uh, with uh, entrance systems uh, to bring uh, a bit margins up in a significant way. Global Technologies was again performing better, generating a margin of 18.9%. What was driving that development? Yes, you know, in, in Global Tech, we had uh, challenges with PACs that uh, we had um, semiconductor shortages uh, two years ago. We built up a high backlog and then we invoiced that backlog last year. Therefore, we had very tough comparisons uh, on the growth uh, side with a year ago. That whole uh, backlog recovery story uh, was over as of September. So as of September, we had a normal month uh, uh, for PACs where we went back to normal uh, uh, growth. And therefore, we saw also, also a positive uh, mix um, with more uh, PACs. We also saw, saw uh, other positive mix, uh, good hospitality to uh, business areas that are more profitable than the others uh, in global tech. Therefore, also very uh, strong uh, uh, a bit realization in the quarter. And we should also not forget that Q3 is always seasonally the better uh, quarter for global uh, tech. But going forward, definitely uh, confident that we can bring global tech back to that 17, 18% a bit margin we, we aim for now that uh, PAX has stabilized uh, and, and is, is again, you would say to yeah, normal comparisons. Excellent, Nico. Thank you very much, and we look forward to speaking to you again after the Q4 results in February. Thank you, Bjorn.